I'm Ronald E. Rice. I'm the Arthur N. Root Professor in the Social Effects of Mass Communication at the Department of Communication at University of California, Santa Barbara. In general, people should know what the local recycling and plastic processing regulations and opportunities are. Turns out most people don't know them. A lot of different communities have different services uh, in terms of waste management and plastic recycling, and sometimes those change. So that leads to the second thing, which is it's really important to know how to separate uh, different kinds of plastic. What goes into the trash, what goes into recycle. Plastic is fantastic and it has uh, tremendously improved our lives in many, many ways that we couldn't, couldn't go back from. However, there are also lots of costs of plastics. And the ones that we're concerned about mostly uh, are the pollution aspects. Plastics disperse throughout the entire world, water, land, and in the air. Different campaigns throughout the world have focused on different aspects of this, and public communication campaigns is one of my areas of specialty, so I'm really fascinated about these. Malaysia had a no plastic uh, uh, bag day. Uh, on Saturdays, you could not get plastic bags, and then there was also a charge for them. In Singapore, there was an online campaign to help uh, inform uh, young people about the benefits of recycling, and they used a lot of social media as well. That's an area that uh, communication about uh, recycling and plastics uh, can take more advantage of. In the U.S., there are uh, both legislation and campaigns to um, ban single-use plastic bags uh, in California, but also in some other uh, cities. Now, as to what kinds of content these campaigns should communicate, some research shows that if something feels more important to you, it's more salient to you, you're more open to what's called a pushy or more sort of uh, uh, demand or request or even kind of a, an authoritarian position. That is, if it's important, you're more likely to listen to somebody who's going to tell you really should do this because it's important. If the topic's not so important to you, you need to be encouraged more with different kinds of messages. It's also the case that uh, some research shows that the influence of those around you with respect to how much you participate in recycling is quite influential. So it's not just the individual in the household, but also uh, the effect of neighbors. If you see your neighbors do it, you're more likely to do it. It also increases the acceptability of that. There's a vast literature. It hasn't been organized very, very well, but um, there's a lot to be gained. And some uh, sites, some organizations that can have very nice guidelines or recommendations for how to design campaigns and, and what they've learned from them. So look at the resources on our website. Uh, at the beginning of this, uh, the website also lists uh, participants in the conference, but a, a tremendous amount of resources in terms of videos, films, books, articles, and websites. Thank you.